Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you how to fix uh, uh, this types of problem introducing foreign key constraint FK application user likes, ASP.NET user center ID on the table application user likes may cause cycle or multiple cascade paths specify on delete no action or no update no action or modify other uh, foreign key constraints could not create constraint or index see previous errors so you can see that this types of error occurs uh, between the self referencing self referencing tables so here you can see that application user is uh, both uh, sender as the receiver you can see that in application user have a sender likes and the receiver likes so a sender receives uh, likes and sender sends the likes to the users though both are the same uh, with the application user so sender and the receiver uh, is the same of the application user so in the what is the user likes so application user like have a sender id and the receiver id you can see that so that a type of problem in the self referencing key that is you cannot uh, uh, cascade uh, delete by default so uh, in the application db context class you have to set in the self referencing key that is uh, that type of thing the like that uh, has key that is the sender id and the receiver id in the application user likes and in the application user like uh, has one sender and with many uh, sender likes in the application user class you can say that here we have a application user class there is a sender likes so and has foreign key that is the sender id in the send, uh, application user like that is the sender id and you cannot delete uh, cascade by default so just set client set null okay in the both table dot client set null after uh, after save this problem client set null your problem will be resolved easily so just add migration again initial and after you can see that your problem will be resolved easily update database and your database will be updated oops there is a like uh, introducing foreign key constraints the same problem will be occurred so if the same problem happened so just drop the database first and you can see that uh, just I want to delete all okay now after that remove the migrations folder there is so just delete it okay so now after that in the package manager console add migration again Okay, after that you have to just go for update database command. Here we go. So your uh, database is updated. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core.